Hey folks, Quilly Thien here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 3 as Canada. And we are humming through the 20th century over here. We're trying to get electricity on board. Things are still expensive there, but I mean, we are expanding overseas. We've got our electrics industry being built over here. Uh, that's mo currently making telephones and soon to be radio as well. It would be so lovely. We're actually like, well, we're not really changing much of the British Army stuff. And the ideological similarities keep shifting. I don't know if there's something specifically you can do to make that match up properly. I mean, what are your politics? Is it, do we have to match in government? I actually don't know. Is it based on the laws we have in common? I wonder if there's an, a way to tell here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how we can work that. And w our obligation is wearing out if it hasn't already. So and that's plus 50 that we're relying on. We need to close, close the rest of the gap. Oh, automobiles are expensive. Well, we are consuming some, so that makes sense. I do have in my motor industries over here. East Angola is currently going to be attempting to make automobiles. Yeah, we're not we're not having to subsidize it. Um, in fact, we could boost it a little bit more. I think, yeah, we don't have enough automobile demand for that. But I'm going to alt-click another motor industry in East Angola here. For the military. Soon we will be making a more of a switch. We'll just bite the bullet and make a big switch in, like, probably Quebec with its 10 before the 20 in Ontario. But we'll see. Now, some of these shipyards are not as profitable anymore. Why is that? Well, yeah, because we really don't need clippers. I wonder if it's safe to make these changes. So I do want clippers to stay fairly inexpensive. But yeah, we could switch more of these shipyards over to make these expensive ironclads, which are still super short in the thing. I'll switch British Columbia over to sweet steamships and maximum ironclads. We're publicly traded as well. That's going to be okay. And then, yeah. I mean, we still need clippers. I don't... Ports can't ever not use clippers, right? Oh, that's not true. The modern port uses steamers, not clippers. Oh, okay, that explains that. So, actually, I suspect we could switch our shipyards over to pure steamer stuff as a whole. Yeah, steam ships. Looks like a better balance is that military shipbuilding here between steamers and ironclads. switch some of it over. If I switch you... Okay, we should let... Let's let everything balance out here. Quebec, what's your deal? Oh, no. Producing too many steamers now. Okay, let's see if we can export steamers. We will go negative on our... Um... This menu is the worst. This is actually the worst. Although... Certain people know about it and maybe working on things. Ooh, no. No one wants steamers. Okay, then I'm gonna need to keep one of these. You. You're gonna work on regular wooden ships. Just to try to maintain the prices a little bit better here. Okay, these are profitable. This one's not. Deal with it. Okay, now we're not going to switch to um, radios. Bolt action rifle. Uh, yeah, let's make the switch to that. I think we're ready for it. Government administration. I don't think... Yeah, we still can't switch the main thing over to telephone switchboards yet. So we'll just leave this for a tick. 
built building a bunch of barracks, partially because I was hoping we'd be able to develop a better relationship with Britain, but also because eh, Russia's a little bit threatening. So we will build up some and see what happens. But motor industry and electric is going to be good. Money's taking a big dip over here. Whoa, no investment pool. Oh, okay. The investment pool itself is growing. So we're only using some of the transfer. Uh, that's right, because power plants, that's right. I always forget, whenever we end up building some power plants, those don't get investment pools. So all of a sudden, it looks like our deficit grows. And then as soon as it's done, we get a huge injection of cash because all of a sudden we're draining the investment pool completely for the next construction stuff in the queue. So, I mean, we could balance it a bit by keep, like, interweaving things. So right now it's just being used for the motor industry, but eh, that's fine. I'm okay with this. Still would like to flip to professional army. Wow, small arms is getting so cheap. I, the, the military price fluctuating so much depending on if we're in state of war or not is uh, it's a little tricky to balance. Okay. I assume I still can't go professional army. Oh, I can. There we go. Also, university department change. Next, I'm going to flip back over to production. And there's something I was going to grab. Oil turbines for our power plants. Three years, we will eat that. That's going to have to be okay. Universities. Where are you? So we can switch you to this. Yeah. Paper price still entirely reasonable. And we're going to get more qualifications from all of our universities and more innovation for our tech. Although, I mean, we've still got lots of military tech to do because we haven't been directly researching it. It's all been based on what spreads to us. So there's a little bit more over there that we can help things power through, but... Minus 50? Oh yeah, because it's all power plants right now. That's okay. These things are going to make us tons... Well, they're going to make themselves tons of money. There's lots of demand for power still. Like, look at this. And it's just going to get more serious. Um, a, we are building a few more things that using power, but I suspect throughout the British market, more people are taking advantage of the fact that electricity is a thing, and they're doing that. And if we could become an electrical powerhouse, I mean, that that's very Canadian, actually. That's We produce an excess of power. We sell a lot to the United States. I don't think we sell a lot of overseas power, British market and stuff like that. It might be a little bit weird, but let's just pretend it's a thing that, that makes sense. And yeah, the steel mill would be more profitable if electricity was cheaper. So that's really the thing. Although... With the power plants, do I want to be building more knowing that oil turbines is three years away? I think the answer has to be yes, because first of all, it's still three years away. And secondly, I think even with the, electric, the extra power we're going to get from the oil turbines, I think electrical demand is going to continue to grow, 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 grow. But I may want to spread it out just so that we have a little bit more fine-tuning capacity. I don't know. Part of me is wondering about... Maybe in Ontario, we still go to try to max out our throughput. Wait, it's not telling me we have a limit of 50. Do we have no limit on economy of scale anymore? Interesting. Let's build another 10 in Ontario. But we'll let it be added to the bottom of the queue. I suspect we're not going to get um, any, uh, any investment pool moving towards a barracks either. Tell you what, I'm going to put the electrics industry up a little higher just to consume a little bit slowly. Flash freezing. Yeah, that's gonna use more electricity. We'll get back to you on that. What else is a little bit, what are we short on in our market? Glass, coal, though that's gonna switch a little bit. Okay, I think. I'm gonna put in an extra 10 glassworks in Washington. I know that's like 50% more in our nation, but I think in the entire British market, it's not gonna be that dramatic a shift. And I'll just put a couple at the top because that will get built using our, um, our investment pool. And that's basically it. It's like all that money's just sitting around kind of not doing anything. I mean, yes, it's still banked for later, but let's go ahead and throw a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna leave the rest at the bottom of the queue. But yeah, we'll drain it a little bit to get some industries that are going to be profitable and will help decrease our construction cost, which is helpful. I mean, not by much, because again, with only two, but it is definitely going to do something. Okay, that is improving itself, which is good. 
Turn right. We still have the phone switching board, which right now the prices are acceptable. And yeah, this is always going to have a negative, but that's okay. Yeah, our taxation capacity is still insane here, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we are using more and more. Population is growing quite rapidly, I suppose. Oh, GDP, we're now number six, and our GDP per capita is number six. Wow! It's been a while since our GDP per capita has uh, gotten better here, but we're clearly um, hiring, employing a lot more people than moving from peasantry to something else. All right, yeah, still making the deficit here, but that's okay. We could probably handle a little bit more construction, but I'm kind of concerned about it. Oh, Sorb's coming to Alaska, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna be happy when the glass works finish. Just because the game running slower. I really wasn't expecting to see much of a slowdown in here the same way. Although I guess there are just more pops in general. So there might be more more calculations. Oh, with I suppose with more industries, because the pops get subdivided by industries, as we add more industry types to each state, that would lead to a slowdown. And the AI might have to recalculate how it's, you know, working its industries more as more come in. I guess it does make sense. I still wasn't expect, I'm not expecting a radical slowdown like how Stellaris used to be, for example. Um, Stellaris has gotten a lot better. You still get slowed down in the end game, but it's not the same. Crooked connections. Um, oh, trade units really hate me. When did that happen? I'm sorry. Well, it's not going to change them for now, so I'm going to do this. Just get professional army a little faster. They really are unhappy. Oh, they don't like professional armies? Why not? Why are they so against this? I guess they want that because they want the power to be in the hands of the people. That's why. Probably, I'm assuming. All right, well, they'll get over that. That minus 20 is going to bleed off over time. Well, now it's a minus 22 because of the decision I just made or whatever. And yeah, some of the improved relations are going away, but that's fine. Yeah, so I assume we don't have an obligation anymore. Oh, apparently we do. Oh, this would be O obligation. This is not turn in obligation. Ah, so now it's only plus 30. Yeah. So we could still get a boost, but not enough of one. Did the uh, military stat change? Plus three. I mean, our power projection is going up, but maybe it doesn't make as much of a difference as I'd hoped. I'm still going to let it finish, though. I'm still going to, like, construct those barracks that we had in the queue, which might be almost done. Electric industry. I'm going to get another glasswork. I mean, I guess it almost makes sense to do glassworks first because they will decrease my construction costs, although only once they hire. So maybe I won't do all of them. And I mean, everything else is waiting for the power plant so that it can become more profitable. Like, it's so ludicrously expensive here. 30 months left for the oil turbines. And that will make a big difference. Workers of the world. Oh, lots of nation. I don't really care about US relations, really. Although this would radicalize the trade unions, I think, at this point. Yeah, they'd go to minus 11. That seems a little dangerous. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's tanking our construction efficiency. I don't like that. Oh, US wants a defensive pack. Sure. I'm not gonna go after you again. We might need you against Russia. I'm assuming if my relations were worse with Great Britain over here, I think I could. Yeah, too high. Conceivably, I might be able to get some people on my side, but I don't want to fight a war with Great Britain for my independence. It's not the Canadian way. Uh, it's a lot. Of, oh, yeah, it's a lot of profit because we're draining the investment pool. So that makes sense. More convoys required, more automobiles, oh, and we're getting even more convoy requests. Well, I suppose, because we did get extra port levels, and I can build some in my extra territories. I think I'm just going to max these all out again. And 
Actually, I'm just realizing. I haven't checked for a bit. No, no new colony. I could move my interest around, but I don't think that's going to open anything else. But yeah, we'll get all the ports. Which, again, I think is something that can't be... Doesn't get, um, I was going to say subsidized, but invested in. Still, I think that's going to be good overall for our economy. Keep building that up. Yeah, wow, we're learning so much. It's interesting, the slight differences between our Canada and our Italy playthrough. I keep learning something in one that I can apply to the others and back and forth. Spoiler alert, turns out that playing a game makes you better at playing the game. I know, so weird. Still that dramatic shortage of ironclads. I can't make my dreadnoughts. Good timing for this, actually. Um, yeah, you're still here, but the problem is I can't make you be more pure military. Although they're making such a profit. I guess, I, I think it really depends on the state of the world and wars. All right. All pure steamers all the time right now. Okay. And you're definitely turning a profit. I could build more of that, because these were, are going to be very profitable industries. But I'm a little bit worried that maybe as things change, all of a sudden they'll need less. If there was a shortage of steamers, I'd build more, but there's not. Oh, there you go. See, the price of ironclads just dropped a bunch. So I'm just going to leave them as is without expanding it right now. Yeah, still, they're still expensive, but that's fine. Automobiles. Yeah. Uh, still not enough to switch my main motor industry. But we could expand East Angola. But I'm wondering about Quebec here. I'll drop it down to nothing. Again, internally, I suppose I could boost it with my conscription centers. That might be worth... Uh, well, once the professional army kicks in, if it does, apparently we lost a little bit of uh, coal over here, which is annoying. If it does kick in, there'll be more people um, hired in the barracks, I think. Yeah, level 5 barracks is my cap. That is true. We do have a few little minor ones. I guess I'll buff this. I, I don't necessarily know if I want all these small groups. In fact, I'm tempted to maybe disband these tiny ones. Maybe build more in central, like actual Canada itself. Like core here. All right. Electricity coming in. We are going to be fully paying for that. Although, actually, the investment pool. 18k only gaining? That's actually shockingly low right now. Oh, I think they only invest when they're getting paid dividends, which only happens when the buildings are sitting at full money. So if I'm building a bunch, I think it like lowers like it lowers the percentage of fullness because I think they can they can bank more in the building stuff like um, these cash reserves over here. So yeah, as I'm building in an industry, it resets kind of the or increases the cap on the cash reserves. They got to rebuild that before they start investing. Um, I think might be the issue with some of that. All right, input prices are still decent. We could maybe use a little coal, but again, I'm not going to stress about building more coal right now because we're going to make a big change here with our, our industry with the oil. We are now five to ten months away. Why is there a range like that? Are we getting... Oh, we are getting some tech spread towards this. Ah, ha, ha. And then we switch our power plants over to use oil. Maybe only part of the time, but we'll see. We do have oil production. Although, I think oil prices are still fairly high, are they not? Mm, okay, they're not crazy right now, but... Um, I'm going to go and alt-click a couple of levels of oil rigs in here. Because, yeah, we're definitely going to want a little bit more. Same thing in Ontario. Yeah, I'm going to alt-click a couple, put them at the front of the queue. Okay. Plus, I mean, drain a little investment pool, and that's going to be okay. Limit our debt just temporarily so that we don't grow there. 122k we're spending with Great Britain now. Why do you take so much money? How's our army projection? Yeah, about the same. I'm really hoping the professional army kicks in. I think that's going to make a big difference for a few of our things. Because I think it's going to increase the barracks level, and I think have more battalions per... Barracks level max goes up a bunch. So I think from here, yeah, five versus 100. 
We'll be able to mobilize fewer conscripts, but I'm fine with that. I wonder if we're gonna get uh, the equivalent of a Great War at some point. Mm -hmm. Wow, the Ottomans is a mess. Such a mess. Russia over there. Apparently that's quite common right now with the state of colonization. New company. A little bit of Canada over here. So loverly. Power plants. Oh yeah, we have a bunch of ports thrown in there as well. Oh again, let me go and put the glassworks at the top again. Because again, it'll keep this. Yeah, you can see we're not really making a change in the price of glassworks. It's been sitting at that like two coins in the second stack for a long time. Theoretically, it might have gone down a little bit, but not much. What the hell, man? Why can't we pass a professional army ever? Who else is in favor of this? No, oh, just it's just the armed forces. And yeah, they're already in government. So almost, maybe this is gonna go poorly. No, nothing. Uh, backroom dealings exposed. Oh, and again, that just tanks it. and lowers the um, popularity of the armed forces some more. I could have done a different choice, but I didn't want to lose stuff over here. All right, well, let's take a look at... Uh, well, I guess I can't free trade with the government in the shape it is. Armed forces are in the Communist Party? I guess they were radicalized before. Okay, we got another election. We can see about making some moves, maybe. Anything new and exciting in here? Radio production. Oh, our nation, our culture. Ethnostate. Yeah, let's not go in that direction. That's not really the vibe I'm looking for, actually. That's minus 7.2. That's really bad. All right, I'm going to cancel a consumption tax, even though it's not going to feel good. That's a huge cost difference. But we need to fix the opposition party's moods a bunch. I mean, at least we're still turning a profit. Although, right now, that's just because we are getting the uh, the revenue transfers, of course. Yeah. I have to keep check that. It'd be nice to get a notice that we've got, we can colonize. Oh, who's got low market access? Ontario. 90% is not bad. Is it actual infrastructure? It is. Um, Railway is losing money, but of course that... Actually, you're not. We're subsidizing you, but you're not actually losing cash. How much am I... I wonder if I can just cancel these subsidies altogether. Uh, what am I looking for here? Here. Subsidies. Oh, yeah. We're basically paying nothing. I was like, yeah, you are fine. Let me cancel you. This may have been the only place where I was subsidizing it. And yeah, if every place is on electric rail... Hold on. Um, under development. Yeah, all our railways are following the same policy. So they should all be turning a pretty decent profit, especially as I bring down the price of electricity. So I will go, I'm going to click. I'm not going to alt click. We'll just put it at the bottom of the queue. So you're going to need more infrastructure, but I don't necessarily need to rush it. And the plenty. Momentum for the communists. Well, okay. I'm going to say yes, because that actually adds momentum. That's armed forces specifically. And I would like to enact professional army. Okay, automobiles are still expensive. What's the... Yeah, the buy orders aren't that much higher. Okay, we do have pop needs. So yeah, some pops do need cars, which makes sense. And I wonder if that shifts over time. It also might be one of the things that are variable. Hold on. If we go... And I hate this is buried. Hopefully, they'll change it at some point. Um, check their needs here. Automobiles. This is part of their free movement need which is supplied by transportation services and automobiles. Okay. So they'll just grab whatever is kind of cheapest unless they have a preference. Trade routes need convoys. I think we got a bunch of ports in the queue right now. Oil turbines. Okay. What's the next queue thing that we're going to queue up here? Um, maybe arc welding for our shipyards. Actually, I think that's kind of okay. Okay. So, if we go to our power plants, not electrics, power plants. I mean, I'm assuming, first of all, if we do this, oh, they would be profitable. 
even though it dramatic it like <laughs> obliterate it explodes the price of oil and obliterates the price of electricity although it doesn't go down to silver and presumably we just have enough sales for this i suppose i could make the switch you know what i should make the switch because then i can switch more things to use more electricity which will help the power plants mo make more of a profit overall yeah all right let's do it we're gonna do this um, this still isn't going to change, new. No. And the universities are running this, which is okay. You're doing this. Arms industry always fluctuates. Electrics, we're not going to switch you to radio currently. Uh, oh, you're actually losing money. How? I'm not quite surprised about that. I'm very surprised. Yeah, electricity price. Okay, maybe I should just let it run for a tick here. There we go. Now switching to electric engines is going to be quite profitable because you've actually processed the change in... In a hand assembly, you'll need less stuff, but then you'll be hiring more people. It might still be okay, but I kind of... I'm going to leave you... Put you all on assembly line. That's going to be fine. Publicly traded is going to be okay. Most of you are still just making engines rather than cars. We'll come back to you. Yeah, that doesn't help us. Tools, workshops, you're still... Yeah, you're doing everything where we want you. I think the furniture's the same. Boo's still not a productive thing for us. All right. Oh, let's have the millet farm use tractors. Oh, yeah, I don't think I did it originally because I was looking to hire things, but that's going to be okay. Yep, refrigerated cars. Again, I might want to let the game run while I'm making some of these changes. We'll switch to the steam donkey now. Yeah, it frees up people, which I guess we've got the workers, but it's going to be okay. Chainsaws, no good. Because oil consumption, yeah. Uh, let me leave that here for now. Flash freeze, fewer employees. It's slightly profitable, but I feel like what I really need to look at is the oil rigs right now. Yeah, look at their profitability. It's insane. Um, I strongly suspect... Well, first, I'm going to go to nice round numbers. I think I can probably max out the oil production both Alberta and Ontario here. Maybe what I'm going to do, actually, is... Oh man, there's another page. Okay, pause a sec, because I might want to make a change. Well, what I really want is the industrials back in here, so that I can maybe run some free trade. I might take the legitimacy hit. Oh! Intelligentsia and rural folk all want to join the Communist Party. Alright. Okay, this is fine. First of all, no, still not yet. Um, let's say fire. More, yeah, I want the investment pools. Landowners, trade unions won't get pissed. Okay, we're going to try this. I don't like 14%, it's really low. We're going to have to get lucky with some events, but fingers crossed. Yeah, oil's expensive, we know. Import good shortage. Oh, we actually don't have enough automobiles as an import anymore for something. So someone else in the British market has made some sort of change, actually. Because it's not us. Put our engines over here. If I switch Ontario to this. Ah, oh, no. I mean, I could just build more in Angola, but I, what I really want to do is probably... Well, I don't know. Maybe this is fine. I'm going to alt-click. One, two, three. I think that's going to be okay. We might might not be quite enough demand for this. Actually, there probably isn't quite enough. But if you build it, they will come. I always hit this for the migrants. Upper strat radical, that's fine. We don't have much radicalism. We're okay. I'm happy we got rid of the authority penalty, although I do wish we were... Um, 
uh, we were still running the consumption taxes because that was pretty good income for us. Right now we're looking okay because we're draining the investment pool. Well, actually, no, the investment pool is drained. We are consuming the investment pool transfer, but I mean, that's fine. That's the fact that it's producing it and whether we're banking it or not is about the same. I'll dip down a little bit here. If we can do this and we can get an increase to how much investment pool is happening, that is going to be wonderful for us. I mean, we've tried doing it a few times. And I think only the industrialists support this, right? Yeah. No one else cares about this pool. I mean, unless maybe one of the other interest groups would get a leader with a particular interest trait that tweaks it around. But yeah, otherwise it's pretty damn static. We'll activate if we build some more ships, which I'm not really looking to do. We're up to 36 battalions as is. That's still without professional army. And yeah, we'll be getting some extra ports, which is going to be good. With more convoys, more of our trade routes could use extra convoys. Oh, Alaska's really popular for immigration. Uh, I want to click on Alaska specifically, yeah. Wow, they have 2 million people living there. Jeez! That's actually nuts! Well, they got their colonial resettlement. Right, so it's not an incorporated state. Yeah. And we've got some tax waste. But the 2.3% isn't too terrible. I'd still like to switch more of our government buildings over. Well, I guess this one is the one set to telephone. And Quebec still can't support that. At some point, I gotta just, like, subsidize something. Well, I mean, I guess the government thing is just comes out of us regardless. So it's being subsidized kind of implicitly. How are the electrics that you looking at? You're turning a decent profit. I'm going to alt-click one, and then just regular queue up three more. That's still profitable. We'll improve that. And just trying to yeah, bootstrap the economy as a whole. Ah, oh, armed forces. More hardline foreign policy towards Russia. Well, they already hate me. So, yeah, and I don't want to lose authority. So, yeah, we'll take this. Make the armed forces that much happier with us. They'll be really happy if we can get the professional army. Okay, let's hope we get a good kick on this AFI out here. Come on, baby. What are our stats? Oh, there's actually no advance chance at all. Ooh. What? Or was there? There's a debate. Oh, successfully debated. So we didn't actually get an event choice with it. It just auto it triggered a positive one there with the debate. Okay. Uh, unpredictable trade routes. Cool. All right, let's do that. Should maybe review some more of these. Yeah, well... Fertilizer, yep, that's still where it is. What Canada's really good at stocking shit, apparently. Explosive exports, still very profitable to the US. Awesome. Ooh. We might need to build some more bureaucracy here. Hardwood, that's a hardwood import, which is still good for us right now. Close. Isn't actually doing that much. It's not bad. But let me cancel this for now, since we do have a shortage of bureaucracy anyway. And once that gets fixed, we'll be looking to maybe set up some different trade stuff. Okay. As far as I know, all the trade routes we've got, and again, it would be nice if I could filter this just my own. All the trade routes we've got now are extraordinarily high volume and very profitable. Now, we could probably use more. I mean, I'm sure there's lots of goods we'd like to do this with, but we can't right now. We don't have the convoys. We don't have the bureaucracy. Ports are coming in, so hopefully, you know, we'll get the convoys and we can consider new trade routes. Although if these insanely profitable trade routes just want to keep leveling up, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Interesting. Hmm, surprised. The rubber plantation is not more profitable. The 
transportation. I guess the wages are just getting a little high over here. I mean, you're not losing much. We went from like a huge rubber shortage to not looking all that sexy anymore. folks aren't helping us move in a direction we're interested in. I'm going to stop queuing things up, but, um, let's just say, let's move the oil rigs up to the top. Okay. Since there's a shortage currently. I did switch all my electrical production over to this, right? Yeah, it's all using oil. Ontario's making a killing. They do have the huge boost. Automatic machine guns. Which, I do want to make a change. Ah, specialized companies. Yeah, we are going to do this. Now, right now, ammunition, small arms, not that expensive. We'll switch to this, which is going to give us more power projection. Yeah, it'll cost us money as well. But, I think our journal is unlocking automatic machine guns. If we're in a war. And we need machine gunners usage. Uh-huh, well, we'll see about that. Urbanizing Canada is going to be tough. We really don't have an urban setup. I mean, I guess that almost might apply to uh, modern Canada as well. I mean, something like, I think half of all Canadians live, there was some graph I saw. I think half of all Canadians live like here. And maybe with like one dot where Vancouver is. So, you know, in terms of actual territory, Canada is very rural. In terms of where people are, I mean, most people are in larger cities. Or at least decent-sized towns, I suppose. Which might... I don't know if that would count as urban. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe not Maybe not villages. If you've got a decent-sized town, that's obviously got an urban center. Oh, yeah, that's if I, we're up to 25%. That makes me very happy. If I cancelled the uh, porcelain consumption tax, then we would get even more authority back and shorten the enactment time, but I don't really want to do that. This uh, bureaucracy waste is getting to be a little bit more problematic. In Ontario, where I'm going to go and alt-click another level of government administration here. This is the one that uses telephones, which are still a little on the pricey side, but we are also building the electric stuff. Actually, yeah, let me put one up a little higher in here as well. This is going to be, this produces a lot more electrics than we're consume over here, which will bring that price down. Overall, though, I think contribute towards a better economy. File, kick through, and then we'll probably put a cut in here. Maybe we'll get lucky on it. We're having a hard time passing some of those those laws, those these late laws. Well, I mean, early on, we've mostly been optimistic and grabbed laws that had a pretty easy time to pass. Now there's just not that many to choose from anymore, so all of them are going to be a little on the trickier side. But yeah, I really don't need to be subsidizing much. And if we can get a bigger investment pool, that's going to be wonderful. Go, 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 succeed. Yes! Oh, baby. Reduced interest rate can be good, too. Although, currently, we don't have any debt. So, we can still subsidize infrastructure and trade centers, which makes sense. Um, before, when we had, we had interventionist. Yes, plus 25%. So, we're uh, ignoring... Okay, so we're losing the aristocrats, but I don't think we have that many. So, we are doubling the investment from capitalists. So I suspect that's mostly going to double the investment pool, or nearly so. Looks like we still have, uh, we still had aristocrats, so we're not actually doubling, but that is a huge boost. That is a huge boost. Excellent. Can I try professional army again? 31% this time around. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, baby. And with no debt, yeah, we're going to add some construction. Um, where do I want to add it? Do I want to keep getting it in Ontario for the flow through? I don't know if construction needs extra infrastructure. If I click here. No. Although it does add urbanization. If we're not moving our capital, I could just build it in Manitoba. We won't get like the local production growth too much because we're not really building a lot of things over here. Although their food industry is back to being fairly profitable. Mm. 
mean, I could spread it around. I don't know. It feels like stacking it in a state where we're building more things makes sense. But at this point, you know what? Build one there. And then I'm going to flip the uh, cost run. Yeah, it's not going to be too much because... It was like, the wages might be a little lower, but I guess it's mostly construction material. All right, let's sort by high number of peasants. Quebec never got any. I'm going to build one there as well. And, oh, you were supposed to be alt-clicked. I think... No, neither one did. One and two. Okay. Oh, yeah, are we researching arc welding? Yes, we are. So we can get to the next building tech as well. Yeah, so actually... I'm, I'm probably not going to want to build any more construction. I forgot about that. I'll finish these two, but then we'll save on the arc, for, save for this, because it's going to increase our cost a lot, mostly because it's going to use electricity, which is going to keep it expensive, but it is going to give us huge amounts of production boost. So much more construction. I mean, yeah, it definitely adds a lot of costs. I'm going to keep glass cheap, but yeah, keeping electricity cheap is going to be a big big part of keeping the, the arc welding down. But, you know, hopefully we are working on it. So we did pass that law. Um, and we are working professional army. So I guess I'm going to go and put in a cut here. We still need more oil wells too. Do we have them in the queue? Yeah. Let me go and put three more in there before the ports continue. Although... Oh, we're not actually short on convoys, so that's okay. So Ontario is going to need... I mean, re more railway rays. It's the, it's the only thing. It does have one in the queue already. I mean, it's barely short on infrastructure, just by two, so it's not a big deal. 99% is fine, but we may as well. It keeps the transportation costs reasonable as well, which our people are appreciating. Ninth in rank. What's the next jump up? Uh, let me see. There it is. Yeah, that's a big jump. Wait, what is with the order here? I think it's because we're, we can't be independent. We can't be a great power. I think because we're not independent. Because we have more prestige. Which, as far as I know... Yeah, we can't achieve a rank higher than major power, due to being the subject we've been. Limiting them to a maximum score position 8th in the world. So, we, if we got more than East India Company, we could become 8th. But that's it. That's we're competing with this. These guys automatically pass us because they count as great powers, even though they have less prestige. Yeah. If we did become independent, we would... I, I, I think we'd immediately become seventh. Because we'd be ahead of East India because we'd be independent, and we'd be ahead of Spain based on pure score. So we'd become the seventh most powerful nation in the world. GDP is now sixth in worldwide. GDP per capita number three. Only Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, and... What is this place? Belgium? I've never heard of it. Uh, only they have more wealth per capita. Per capita, our people are richer than people in Great Britain. And, yeah, that's the other thing, too. If we did get independence, not only would we go up based on prestige, but we would not be paying... 131k a month on diplomatic packs. So I was looking at the welfare payments and I was like, ooh, those have gone up quite a bit. But right now, our economy is stupid good. I could lower the taxes a step, but why would I do that? We might as well, it might be worth just banking a bunch of cash right now in preparation for 19 months we get arc welding. We switch our construction sector priority, which is gonna cost us tons, but build faster. And that's gonna be A-OK. -okay. And I kind of like that idea, yeah. All right, in any case, I got to go and put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.